after discussion of compound, I am going towards that type of matter which is impure. So that impure matter is called mixture. So what is a mixture? I am going to discuss with you mixture. When two or more than two elements combine or mix together without chemical reaction, that is just a physical contact. For example, muddy water. The muddy water is a mixture. It is having water in it. It is having mud in it. So it is regarded as mixture. And we can easily separate them. By simple filtration, we can separate water and mud from this. Also, we can dissolve salt in water. When we dissolve salt in water, that is a mixture. And by simple heating, water will be evaporated and the salt will left behind. So when salt is mixed in water, is dissolved in water, that is a mixture because there is no chemical reaction between salt and water. When mud is in water, there is no chemical reaction between the mud and water. If we have a container and there is hydrogen and oxygen and there is no chemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen, hydrogen is behaving as hydrogen and oxygen is acting as oxygen, that mixture of hydrogen and oxygen is a mixture because there is no chemical reaction involved and nothing new is formed. So these are the characteristics and properties with the help of which we can distinguish between the compound and mixture. If uh, mud is in water, it is not homogeneous, it is not uniform. If the mixture and the different components in mixture are not uniformly distributed, that is called heterogeneous mixture. So the heterogeneous mixture is that mixture like the muddy water in which you can see mud separately than water and because mud is heavy it will settle down and you can see mud differently than water. But if you dissolve salt in water that salt will be uniformly distributed in water and that is a homogeneous mixture. That homogeneous mixture is called solution. So when we dissolve salt in water and it is uniformly distributed, it is homogeneous, that is called solution. The muddy water is heterogeneous and that is a heterogeneous mixture. So these are the different types of matter and this different types of matter will be used time and again in our study of chemistry. These will come in any chapter. So with the understanding of all this, it will be highly expected that one can understand chemistry with more ease and facility. Thank you very much.